last video, we played a fun game called Make New Circles and have made students sit in groups. Now, we will help our students reflect on the sitting game by asking a few questions that will lead to the shape of a circle. We had asked the students to sit in an arrangement of a circle. Now ask them how or in which shape they were standing at the beginning of the activity. Students may respond by saying, we were standing by holding each other's hands or in a round shape or in a circle. Further, ask them, what is the name of the shape of this arrangement? Students might answer round or circle. Some students may respond in their native dialect as well. Moving on, we shall ask them if all the circles formed were equal. Students may respond saying that some circles were like a ball or round or circular and so on. Accept all responses from the students who choose to respond in their local language as well. A question like this will help them compare the size of the circle. Doing so enhances their critical thinking and decision-making skills. Once the students have finished responding, we will inform them that the shape of the arrangement is called a circle. Now, we will ask the students to form one big circle and instruct them to sit at their places. We are going to recite the following poem with actions. Encourage the students to repeat after us. So, let's begin. Make a circle big, big, big. Enact this by joining hands and making a big circle. Small, small, small. Join hands and come closer forming a small circle. Big, big, big. For this line, we shall join hands and make a big circle again. Make a circle, small, small, small. Joining hands, let's make a small circle. Hello, hello, hello. Enact this by waving our hands to say hello thrice. Make a circle, up, up, up. Joining hands again in a circle, let's move our hands up. Down, down, down. Joining hands, let's move our hands down together. Up, up, up. Let's move our hands up together again while joining our hands. Make a circle, down, down, down. Joining hands again, let's move our hands down together. We shall conclude by saying that we've learned how to form a circle in different sizes. Wasn't that so much fun? In our next sessions, we will be having more fun doing many activities.